a it's blank Raiders tattoos. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone want to take a reaction to this? Not you, Hubs. Yeah. Get out of my ear. I'll do it. I'll, I'll do it. I mean, he, this is why. He, this is why Dak has as much leverage as any player in like modern NFL history. Because it doesn't matter what happens this year. Somebody's going to do this. Mm -hmm. And I mean, have you seen the Raiders quarterback depth chart? I know you like Gardner Minshew. Gardner Minshew's but good. You want to see the, the hey, Dusty, pull up that the, uh, the Trevor Gardner Lawrence, Minshew Gardner versus Minshew Trevor Lawrence thing from CBS Sports. That's a good one. <laughs> uh, the you like Matthew, the, yeah, I heard, I heard, I, That's a good one. I read yeah, that book too. Yeah, so, um, <laughs> nice, nice topical <laughs> pop culture reference as well. No, a, um, Boston is so <laughs> but um, <laughs> so here, like I, I just think there is <laughs> nothing. That is going to lead to Dak Prescott not becoming the league's highest paid player next year. And the Raiders are going to need a quarterback. The Giants are going to need a quarterback. And those two teams are two teams with real history. Yeah. With, in the Giants' case, real money. The Raiders, less money, but still enough money to pay their You're quarterback. And, right, e either brand new stadium in Vegas, in New York with the Giants. And so those two teams by themselves, not to mention the Steelers, maybe, if neither one of these quarterbacks. So you're going to have at least two, if not three, suitors that are not, like, branding-wise terrible for Dak. Right. Those are all prestige franchises. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I mean, I, somebody's going to do this, which is why Dak is not worried about taking – Anything less than probably a fully guaranteed deal from Dallas because he knows he'll go get it in this offseason. And my take on Dak has always been he needs to realize he's fortunate to be the quarterback of the Dallas Cowboys yep. because he would not be a celebrity quarterback if he weren't doing it with the Cowboys. But now I've changed my tune on this. Oh, wow. I actually think it would be good for Dak to go somewhere oh. that's just the football franchise. Where that's what we do. We're not about worried about the drama, I think the, the soap have a opera, pool in all the of this. But 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 no. Literally but I, and I get <laughs> Vegas. Vegas is a, my first yeah. choice. If Wilson and Fields don't Pittsburgh? work out, would be Pittsburgh. So he can do that old big. The Giants conference? gotta be better. If I'm Dak, I'm not. If they have a bad season this year, I'm not really trying to go to the Giants. He needs to go somewhere where it's only about football and they have a legitimate chance to win the Super Bowl. Because that's really all that's left for Dak to do. I mean, I know he's still relatively young and he's got a long career mm -hmm. ahead of him. But what we want to see from Dak Prescott is win a Super Bowl. And I really think if he goes somewhere where all the noise is quieted, like Pittsburgh or even the Raiders, I know they've had their Vegas, but still. I think it'd be better for him. Okay. And, and I wouldn't mind if he ends up doing that. Dak and Belichick package deal somewhere. I do like that. I like that. I, I like that. Okay, listen. This is why we can't have nice things. A blank check. Guys, do you know how insane this sounds? There's two quarterbacks. Two. In the entire NFL right now that deserve to get a blank check. And it's because of their talent and their greatness and what they can do as well as their health and their youth and their longevity and what they've shown of their ability to stay healthy. And that is Patrick Mahomes and Josh Allen. And some of you will be like, why Josh Allen? It's because again, he's shown to be healthier than any of these other quarterbacks and chose to be as great as you can possibly be. These are the only two quarterbacks that truly deserve a blank check. Now, I can tell you confidently, because I made a video before with the Oakland Raiders. <laughs> yeah, the Oakland Raiders. That was a very long time ago. The Las Vegas Raiders, that they do not want Dak Prescott. They do not. I made a video, and they were going nuts. They uh, The comment section was filled with people saying, we don't want Dak, we don't want Dak, we don't want Dak. They were, they were comparing him to a Derek Carr saying, been there, done that, don't want him, get out of, you know, get, we're not paying him that money. The Raiders are incredibly high, especially the fan bases, on AOC. And even Gardner Minshew, but definitely more AOC. They believe that he will develop into a legitimate, bona fide quarterback. Whether that's true or not, that's not the point of this discussion here. The real question is, is, should the Raiders give Dak 
like $60 million, $65 million, whatever it ends up being. Because at this point, that's what it's looking like it'll be. It'll be minimum 60, and we're already starting to flirt with the $65 million category. And it's like, if you put Dak on the Raiders, is that enough to put them over the hump? Can they now beat these teams? Because again, if you're going to pay Dak all that money, it's not just to make your team relevant. It's one thing if Dak was really young. It's one thing if you were going to pay that amount of money and Dak is only going to be 25, 26, and you're like, this is going to be our quarterback potentially for the next 10 years. Yeah, we're going to have to kind of go up and down through some different iterations of this team. So it's okay if we just now first become relevant and then become legitimate threats, right? That That's kind of like, okay. But if you're saying that the Raiders team right now is actually pretty good, they got a good defense, a, a good new young, hard-hitting uh, head coach, and there you are paying Dak all this money. We already know that Dak has peaked. And so then if you pay the Dak all this money, it's going to be hard to continue to grow the Raiders roster as a franchise. Like you have to believe. I really also what I'm trying to say is, is that the only way you really want to pay Dak that amount of money is if you are in a situation like you're the Tampa Bay Buccaneers a few years ago with Tom Brady and you are like, we are just a quarterback away. If we just get a quarterback right now and some of the other pieces we've already paid and other pieces we don't have to pay for a while, we can pay Dak a boatload of money and it's instantly going to put us into the Super Bowl contention. If you believe that, then sure, pay Dak, skip the growing pains of, uh, of drafting some rookie quarterback or even developing AOC for that matter. And even then, you, you can still maybe keep him as a second stream quarterback, have him be, continue to be developed if you think maybe he's really the future. And then there you go. But if you don't think that Dak is going to be able to put you over the hump and make you instantly a contender, then I don't get why you're going to pay Dak all that amount of money. You're going to make it difficult for you to continue to grow your franchise and be competitive going into the future. And that contract just not, is not going to age well. Paying Dak all that amount of money two or three years from now, you're gonna, while, while Jordan Love is balling out and CJ Stroud is balling out, Mahomes is still balling out. Josh Allen is balling out. Joe Burrow is finally fully healthy. He's balling out. You're going to be looking around at all these quarterbacks balling out while, while you're stuck with Dak, who's getting older, who's getting slower. You're paying him a ton of money. You see another like few great quarterbacks in the draft that you can't get because Dak isn't trash and the Raiders aren't trash. And so now you're not going to be drafting high enough to even get those new hot shot quarterbacks who obviously I don't even know who you know, what their names would even be at this point. And now you're just stuck. Now you're stuck. Now you're essentially like the Dallas Cowboys, but probably a notch below them. Because let's face it, the Dallas Cowboys have drafted and built some really great teams. They're like top three in Pro Bowls and all pros for, for a total number of players. It's like them, the Eagles, the Ravens, and the and the Chiefs, I believe. So unless the Raiders somehow start doing that, why do you think you're going to now suddenly be better than what the Cowboys achieved with Dak? Like you have to say that you have a better roster and a better ability to win than the Dallas Cowboys, that if you now add Dak, you're going to be better. And I'm not so sure that that's the reality. You can be better than the Dallas Cowboys, but you probably need a better quarterback than Dak Prescott. And you certainly need a cheaper quarterback than Dak Prescott. So I just don't think the Raiders even want this, at least the fans. Um, whether or not the roster or the staff wants it, I don't know. But again, listen, I do want to emphasize that if you do add Dak in a vacuum to the Raiders, they are instantly better. And they are instantly now playoff contenders but they don't make you Super Bowl contenders. And so if you're a Raiders fan and you just want to be relevant, you want to be able to beat the Chiefs more consistently and you want to be able to fight the Chargers and the Broncos and, and you want to actually get to the playoffs and fight for maybe like a, a fourth seed, fifth seed, third seed, you know, whatever it may be. And you want to win a couple playoff games and maybe even flirt with an NFC championship game. And that's, and that's good enough for you because you felt like you've had nothing for years and years and years then sure, getting Dak can um, maybe be a, a, a not a bad mood and a stabilizing mood move potentially. And maybe even attracting, if your coach ends up not being so great, 
attracting maybe an even better head coach. All possibilities. But if you're like, you know what? No, I don't want to be what the Dallas Cowboys have been for the last few years. We don't need to win a bunch of regular season ge- games. We don't need to beat the Chiefs in the in the in the regular season only to get smoked by them in the playoffs. Like, you know, then it's like then you rather roll the dice. See what you got with maybe some of these other quarterbacks. See if you can draft another quarterback, right? Like whatever the decision may be. I think the move, if you were going to move on from your quarterbacks that you have, the move would have been to get a Kirk Cousins because then you get a DAC level quarterback for significantly less money. Heck, even making a play at Baker Mayfield would have been better because again, you get a pretty good quarterback for a lot less money. And now you can grow and build that roster around that quarterback. That puts you in a better position. But Dak Prescott, at the end of the day, is not going to be the difference between you beating the Kansas City Chiefs and not. And that's ultimately what you have to figure out. How can you beat the Kansas City Chiefs? How can you beat the Texans? How can you beat the Bengals? The Ravens? How can you do it when it matters? Not a one-off random situation. How can you reliably do it? And I just don't think Dak Prescott's going to be that guy, especially for that amount of money you have to pay him. But those are just my thoughts. I would absolutely love to hear yours. What do you guys all think? Do you think Dak Prescott should be given a blank check from the Raiders? Let me know in the comments below. I read every single comment. So whether you agree with me or disagree with me, either way, let's get in some discussions. Let's get in some fights. But ultimately, let's just have some fun. And please do consider subscribing. We are building an amazing community here, and I would absolutely love to see you part of it. I want to build something that we all genuinely feel connected to, something that we're really excited to be part of, and I think we're well on our way to doing it. And please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, as it really does help with the visibility and the algorithm. Thank you so much. See you next time.